Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Citrine and I'm joined here by Dr. Sarah Villafranco from Osmia Organics and we're going to be talking about summer and how to get your complexion really glowing for this season. So I know you have some really great tips um, because you know this time of year we're in Arizona, it's super dry and I know that there's some things that we can be doing to help our complexion really glow. Yeah. So summertime is particularly tricky for, for skin. We're using a lot more sunscreen, we're outside, we're sweating, we're probably touching our face more than we normally sure. do. Um, so the first thing I recommend is that you're religious about washing your face every single night. So I always have people you know, choose one of our facial soaps, our black clay facial soap or our Lose Enzyme facial soap with pumpkin and tomato. I love for the summertime because it yeah. gives that gentle enzyme sort of turnover. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, this is the one I use. I yeah, love, it. love this soap. And it also smells really good. Um, but to be religious about that, get all the makeup, get all the sunscreen off. Hopefully you're using mostly a mineral-based sunscreen, which does in fact wash off. So oh, that's sort of nice. Um, versus the chemical sunscreens, which get absorbed into the skin. Um, so once you wash that off, then you want to follow with a really good um, <clears throat> face cream. So we would use the Purely Simple Face Cream. Sometimes during the summer though, um, especially in a dry climate like Arizona or yeah. Colorado, you need to supplement it. So um, what I recommend from our line is the um, Nectar Vital Rose Drops. So it's basically, um, yeah, we call them unicorn drops um, because they're sort of magical in the way they work. We just tell people to add three of these to whatever moisturizer they're using, whether the Purely Simple or if you're using from another line. Um, this product doesn't have to bump other stuff off the shelf. It can just supplement whatever you're using, including your sunscreen during the day. Yeah, so could you mix that in with like a little bit of sunscreen? Definitely. Just sunscreen, to give you some BB more hydration. cream, your liquid foundation if you're a makeup wearer, then those are, you can add it to anything you're putting on your face. Three drops will sort of enhance penetration and increase the ability of your skin to hold on to the moisture you provide it. Very nice. Yeah. And then I know too, during the summer, you can get a lot of like dead skin buildup, mm -hmm. um, things like that. What yeah. would you suggest that would be really great for like exfoliating the skin? So our detox exfoliating mask is one of my favorite products for it. It's a, it's a powdered mask, which is really nice because then we don't have to preserve it and you get to make it up fresh every time. Nice. So it's just a black powder um, with three types of clay, some activated charcoal, some honey powder, and some cacao powder. The cacao is really nice because it adds some good fat and it gives that caffeine lift to the skin. So you get a little you know, feeling of, of lift, which we're all looking for both spiritually and physically. Yes. Um, but it's nice to add that in the routine. I tell people to be careful not to over exfoliate though. That's really a problem is people tend to do too much to their skin. So, so what would you suggest? Maybe once a week? Once a week is enough for almost all people. Okay. Yeah. And if you're super sensitive or, um, or if your skin is irritated, um, then I would say once every two weeks is probably enough. That's great. Yeah. So now that we have our skin covered, mm -hmm. what other things can we do maybe with food, different things like that that would yeah. help with this? So certain foods are sort of excellent for the skin. So I love a smoothie that has, like every morning I'll make a smoothie and specific to summer skin, I love to use cucumber, romaine lettuce, walnuts, and blueberries in a smoothie. All of those are really wonderful skin ingredients and will, will plump up your skin from the inside. Um, the other thing, this isn't really food related, but more lifestyle related, is yeah. to sleep. Because the, the daylight hours are longer during the summer. We tend to stay up later. Sure. You know, it's easier to kind of get yourself to go to bed when it's dark outside. When it's light, you're like, huh, I'm going to stay up for more yeah. hours. But if you can commit to getting some sleep during the summer, that makes a huge difference in how your skin looks. And what would you say? Seven to eight hours? I know that's what they always say. I know, and it's hard. I'm a mom. I've got two kids. I run a business. It is hard because once I put my girls to bed, I'm like, oh, good. I can work for three hours now. Yeah. But I, I make myself... Stop. So what other tips yeah. would you have for summer specific skin issues? So summer is a time for rashes. Any parent knows this. Um, and as an ER doctor, I took care of a lot of people with um, rashes, whether from poison ivy or prickly heat. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's hard when you're using a lot of product for your skin to settle down. So again, sure. I go back to the less is more approach when you are dealing with rashy, irritable summer skin. Um, our Oso soap is one of my favorite soaps for that. It's a really beautiful, pure white bar of soap. It has no essential oils whatsoever, and it's made with mango, butter, and olive oil. 
Um, it also has a little bit of organic buttermilk powder in it. So it gives a little bit of a lactic acid sort of peel to the skin. Yeah. Very, very gentle. Um, remember that even essential oils, which I love and worship, can irritate skin that's fired up or angry. So that's what, this is really a, a go-to a go for people who have skin issues during the summertime. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us yeah, and giving us your, your expert tips. Always. Uh, we'll link to some of the products that we talked about. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks.